All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to talk uh, briefly about Mr. David Bakhtiari. I understand there's a lot of hand-wringing and um, nervousness and whatnot about that situation. And it's, it's, it is devastating. I don't want to play it down too much, but um, I just want to bring a little bit of, of context to what's going on with the David Bakhtiari situation. Because although it is a massive blow, this is still a very good football team. So first of all, what I assume they're going to do, they're going to bring out uh, Mr. Billy Turner over to left tackle. He's played 174 snaps already at the position. I think at left guard, we're going to keep Elton Jenkins. At center, we've got Corey Lindsley. At right guard, we got Lucas Patrick. And at right tackle, we have Rick Wagner. Fortunately, we got Corey Lindsley and Rick Wagner back from injury. Uh, looks like those guys are going to be good to go to play. The, the funny thing about this situation is... We've got a tackle that went out, and we've got a guy filling in there who is already a starter. And you think, okay, well, where is there not a Every single one of these players is already a starter. Because of the amount of shuffling that they've done at the offensive line position on top of, of injuries that have come up and the versatility that guys have to play guard and tackle and center and everything else, Elton Jenkins especially, um, we've had that ability to move guys around to the point where the Packers essentially have six starting offensive linemen. So when one goes down, again, Horrific blow, best offensive lineman potentially in all of football. Um, but the Packers, it's not the days in which we had Jason Spriggs as the number three, where when a guy gets hurt, uh, Spriggs comes in and it's basically an automatic sack. Th those are not the days that we're dealing with right now. Um, Billy Turner has already played 174 snaps at left tackle this season. Elton Jenkins has already been our starting left guard for almost the entire season. Uh, Corey Lindsley has been our starting center almost the whole season. Lucas Patrick has been our starting right guard almost the entire season. Rick Wagner has been our starting right tackle almost all season. It's not Billy Turner. Rick Wagner has played there more than Billy Turner. So everything basically is the way it's been all year, except for Billy Turner off the left side of the offensive line. Um, and if you look at, for example, the sacks and pressures, and if you want more details on some of the other teams and what their offensive lines have done, check out the Packernet podcast. I went over it there. But, um, you know, th these guys have not done a bad job. Billy Turner has given up, for example, two sacks, three hits, and 17 hurries, and he's played primarily tackle this whole season. So while there's still a big drop-off, and while he has given up more pressures than anybody else along the offensive line, um, the guy's given up two sacks. Look at all the other teams that are competing in the NFL right now and how many sacks they've given up. Many teams have guys given up four, five, even six sacks on the season. Um, you know, again, all these guys have already been in place, but you look at Lucas Patrick has given up the most sacks, and it's three. It's not that much. And he's, he's given up zero hits and 13 hurries for a to total of 16 pressures on the season. That's the weak link in our offensive line, and it's, you know, it, it's it's okay. It's going to be fine. Um you know, Elton Jenkins, one sack, two hits, 10 hurries for 13 pressures. Corey Lindsley, one sack, one hit, two pressures on the whole season. He's, he's elite, which again, we talk about the offensive line. We don't go from best offensive line of football to bottom five because we lost Bakhtiari. That's nonsense. This is still likely a top 10 unit. It's hard to compare without, I haven't done the work to do that, but it's hard to imagine again with a guy like Billy Turner, Elton Jenkins, Corey Lindsley, Rick Wagner, again, basically the entire starting offensive line, and Billy Turner, who is also a starter, still starting a tackle, which he's done all year anyways. It's hard to imagine it dropping off too much. Um, Rick Wagner, who a lot of people are not super fond of for whatever reason, one sack, one hit, 14 hurries. On the entire season, he's given up one sack. He's played 562 snaps. That's fantastic. So it's still a quality offensive line. No question it's going to get worse. And not just um, from a pressure standpoint, going from Bakhtiari, who's given up nine pressures, to Billy Turner, who's given up 22. Not only that, um, but the run blocking. David Bakhtiari has, has really taken a massive step in terms of his ability to, to block in the run game. Um, and so that may additionally take a step back, but so is Billy Turner. Not to the same degree as, as David Bakhtiari, but he's getting better every single week. And, and, and listen, at the end of the day, the Green Bay Packers coaching staff, starting with Matt LaFleur and his emphasis on running the ball, all the way down to the offensive line coaches that we have, have done a fantastic job. The amount of shuffling they had to do. Bringing this offensive line, by the way, that under Mike McCarthy was a dominant pass-blocking offensive line that couldn't care any less about run blocking to being a, a really good run blocking line to help out a great running back crew that we now have. Um, 
they do a fantastic job. So it is critically important that the guys stay healthy because at some point you reach that critical mass where it gets to be, which is true for every team. At some point you, you lose too many guys and it becomes a problem. We're not there. That's the point I'm trying to make. We're not there. Um, I also, I mean, listen, from, from a larger perspective, we're just looking at offensive line. We're just zoomed in on offensive line. That doesn't even address the fact that we still have the number one quarterback in football. We still have the number one wide receiver in football. We still have arguably the best running back group with Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, and Jamal Williams in football. We have Robert Tunyon, who has more touchdowns than anybody except, I think, Travis Kelsey. Um... Alan Lazard and MVS, who are talented wide receivers, maybe not premier wide receivers, but you add in MVS's ability to stress a defense. You add in Alan Lazard's ability to run block, which sounds stupid to a lot of teams, not Packer fans, though. When you look at a 30-yard run by A.J. Dillon that was basically sprung by Alan Lazard, 245 pounds or whatever he weighs, smashing a defensive lineman or, or, or linebacker or whoever he was into the dirt to spring him for that big run you look at how great he's done at that and just the unit as a whole and that's just the offense that doesn't look at the fact that the unit that has gotten better and better every single week especially in in their ability to stop the run that just kept Derrick Henry to under 100 yards just added Snacks Harrison to the defense the fact that Kenny Clark is getting better the fact that the edge rushers are continuing to get better especially against the run where Rashawn Gary was one of the premier run defenders last week against Derrick Henry that doesn't address the fact that cor- that um, we have one of the best corners, arguably the best, inarguably a top three corner in the NFL this year in Jair Alexander. It doesn't address the fact that we have arguably the best safety duo in football with the way that Savage and Amos have been playing down the stretch. So again, to bring this back to reality, for those of you who are distraught at this, and, and we have every right to be, if nothing else from an, an emotional standpoint, for David Bakhtiari, the fact that he deserves as much as anybody else to be out there on the field when the Packers hoist the trophy. Um, the fact of the matter is, anybody that's counting out this team because of the loss of David Bakhtiari is, is not looking at this through a proper lens. It is a Packer fan that is rightly devastated by this, or a you know Packers hater that um, just doesn't know what they're talking about and is just looking for a reason to, to say stupid things. This is still an elite football team. There's no question about it. It is a dominant, dominant football team. Got a lot worse um, with D- David Bakhtiari falling off, but even at that, they're still miles ahead of everybody, even just along the offensive line, not including all those other attributes that I just listed as being premier things and if you don't know that those things are real you need to look a little closer because it absolutely is so anyways again i just wanted to touch on that very briefly make sure you check out the packernet podcast i do it every single day um otherwise stay here for some more packers and draft content and uh, i'll catch you next time